Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Nepal chain stitch. Here are three that I've been working on. This is an anklet and two bracelets, and I'm just doing seasonal colors. So I have autumn, winter, and spring. Now I did change this stitch just a little bit from its original version. In the original Nepal chain stitch, some of the thread is exposed because of how it's put together. It's hard to get the tension just right on it. So I just changed one tiny little thing. And doing that, I no longer have any thread exposed. And um, it was a lot easier to keep my tension just right. So let's get started. Here is the list of materials you're going to need. To make a bracelet, you will need 5 feet of 6 pound fire line, and you're going to leave a 9 inch tail. To make an anklet, you will need 6 feet of 6 pound fire line, and you're also going to leave a 9 inch tail. You're going to need a size 10 beading needle, a clasp, and I use lobster claw clasps. You're also going to need either two split rings or jump rings, and I'm using split rings because they are more secure. You're also going to need seed beads, and you can either use 11 at seed beads or 8 at seed beads. I used 11 at seed beads. Um, these here are actually half an inch wide, so it's a pretty good size. So it's easier for you to see what I'm doing in the video. I will be using 6 at seed beads because they are much larger than 11 at seed beads. You'll be able to see what I'm doing a lot easier and also it's going to be easier on me because they are bigger. It'll be easier for me to hold them and control them in the video. So let's get started. I wanted to let you know when you go to pick your colors you're going to need one color for your stem so I'm using brown and you can use like black for a winter theme or you can use green um, but when you go to pick your leaf colors you're gonna wanna pick at least one leaf color or three leaf colors these here I did three leaf colors I did try to do two leaf colors and when I did that I would have like a red leaf here and a red leaf here and then this would be a gold leaf and a gold leaf and then this would be red and red so it was straight going like this with the colors it was kind of strange so then I tried it a different way with two colors and all the red was on one side and then the other side was all the gold so it was really strange so when you go to pick colors for this pick one stem color and either one leaf color or pick one stem color and three leaf colors I'm going to start the stitch by picking up three stem beads and five leaf beads. Then I'm going to slide them down and I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go straight down through these stem beads and make this here. I'm going to leave a 9 inch tail and then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to skip over this first bead and I'm going to go through these two brown beads and I'm going to put my finger on it so this stays nice and tight and doesn't come loose. So now we have this. Now I'm going to pick up three stem beads, five leaf beads, and slide them down. And then I'm going to go through two of these stem beads, not three. In the original stitch we go through three, and doing that leaves us with exposed thread and we don't need exposed thread because that could cause our bracelet to break. So go through two of them and to keep it nice and tight press these stem beads against this here put your thumb over it and hold it between your fingers and pull the needle all the way through so there's no loose thread. Make sure it's nice and snug before we go through the rest of the beads. So just like this, now I'm going to go through this leaf bead right here. Once this gets longer, it's going to be easier for us to hold. So again, I'm going to hold this between my two fingers, 
and pull it through so it's nice and tight. And now we have this. And you'll see this thread here getting loose, and that is my tail. So I'm just going to pull my tail to tighten that up. Now I'm exiting out of this bead here. I'm going to pick up three stem beads, three stem, and five leaf beads. Just like this, and slide them down. Now I'm going to go, slide these over, through just two of my stem beads, pull it tight, and hold it between my fingers and pull my needle all the way through. So now that it's tight, I'm going to step up by going through this bead here. Just like this, and pull it through. So now you're seeing our little vine or branches starting to form. So exiting out of this bead, I'm going to pick up three stem beads again, and then five leaf beads. Just like this, and slide them down. Now I'm going to slide these over and go through just two of the stem beads. And I'm going to hold them between my fingers so my tension stays nice and tight. And pull my needle all the way through. And now I'm going to take my needle, exiting out these two beads, and I'm going to go, flip this over, through this one here. So you're going to be repeating this step over and over to make your bracelet or anklet. So just like this. Every time we come out of this bead, we're going to pick up three stem beads, five leaf beads, slide them down, and then I'm going to slide these over, go through two of the stem beads, Hold them just like this and pull my needle through to get my tension nice and tight. Just like this. And I'm going to pop that bead out there. Pull it nice and tight. And exiting out of here, we have to go up through this here. So this was the last leaf and stem I created. So I have to go up through this bead here. Pull it tight just like this. Again, pick up three stem beads and five leaf beads. Slide them down. And go through two of the stem beads. Hold it nice and tight between my fingers. And pull the needle all the way through in a thread. And then I'm going to take my needle, and this being the last leaf I created, and I'm going to go through this bead right here. Oh, pull through. So again, still repeating the same steps over. Three stem beads, five leaf beads. Slide it down. I'm going to go through two of the stem beads push this against your work, hold it between your fingers, and pull your needle and thread all the way through. And now I have to step up by going through my last leaf that I worked on. So I'm going to go through this C bead right here, just like this. So now I have seven leaves. Again, three C beads for my stem, five for my leaf, and I'm going to slide them down. I'm going to go through two stem beads, hold this between my fingers and pull the needle through. Then I'm going to step up by going through the last leaf I worked on. 
this one bead right here and pull it through. I'm going to make a few more leaves. I'm going to pick up three, five, slide them down. I'm going to go through two stem beads. Hold it between my fingers. Then I'm going to go through my last bead that I worked on here. My last leaf. This bead. And I'm going to pick up three more stem beads. Five leaf beads. Slide them down. I'm going to go through two stem beads, hold this between my fingers, and pull the needle all the way through in the thread. Pull it nice and tight so there's no thread exposed. And now I'm going to go stepping up by going through my last leaf that I worked on. I'm going to go through this seed bead here. I'm going to pick up my last leaf, three stem beads, five petal beads. Slide them down. I'm going to go through two stem beads, keeping this nice and tight. Put it between my fingers, hold it nice and good. Pull my needle and my thread all the way through. Then, once this is tight, I'm going to go up through this bead here in my last leaf that I'd created. Put nice and tight. So keep on going, repeating this stitch until you get to the length of the bracelet or anklet that you need. So this was the sample piece, and this is my tail thread right here, and this is my working thread. And you notice by looking at these two ends that they're very different. So because of that, I'm going to have to close them up differently. On my tail thread, I'm going to pick up four seed beads my clasp with the ring. I'm going to go down these brown seed beads, the stem part here, go around, go back up, reinforce this loop again for my clasp, and then I'm going to go down and tie knots in the stems. And on this side, my strings exiting out of this bead right here, I'm going to pick up one seed bead, go through these two beads, leaf beads, and connect these two together so it's not so floppy on the end. And then I'm going to pick up five seed beads, my ring, I'm going to go down these beads, go in a circle, go back up, reinforce it, and then go down and tie knots. So, I'm going to start on this thread first because this is my working thread and my needle is still on this thread. Now, I'm putting the clasp on this end, this end here, the end thread, the end tail, because this is longer so it makes it easier for my clasp to open because if we put the clasp on this side these leaves are in the way and it's kind of irritating open the clasp with those leaves in the way so because this is longer that's why I put the clasp at this end so let's take our working thread on the actual bracelet and um, close it up so I'm exiting out of this C bead right here and this was where we step up normally so I would pick up three uh, stem seed beads and then my five leaf beads and go back down and create a stem right here with a leaf on it but instead of doing that I'm exiting out of here I'm going to be closing this up so pick up one 11 C bead and out of this bead I'm going to go through these two C beads hold it there between my fingers pull it and now you can see the bead sitting right here I'm going to pick up five 11 o seed beads and my clasp. So slide them down. And now I'm going to make sure this is tight. I'm going to go through this brown bead that we just added. I'm going to go down it. And I'm going to go down this pink bead. So pull it down just like this. So now we have our little circle here, 
And you can see why I actually pick up five on this side and seven on the other side. Because I already have two here. I'm picking up these five. And I actually have a circle of seven. So on the other end, I pick up four and then I get a circle of seven. So we both have, on both ends, there is a circle of seven. So exiting out of this brown or pink seaweed, I have to go back up and reinforce this. So I'm going to, if you look closely, there is a thread right there. So I'm going to follow that same thread path. In doing that, you won't notice um, the bracelet being pulled in a different direction because it's actually the same direction we're going into. So I'm going to follow this same thread path, go up through these two brown seed beads, and then through these two uh, beads in my leaf. Pull the thread through, make sure it's tight. I'm going to go back around, reinforce the clasp so the, through these two, and then through the ring and these seed beads here, and I'm going to exit out of this brown seed bead. So I'm going through all these, through this pink one, and right there at that brown seed bead. Pull the thread through. Make sure it's nice and tight and you have no thread exposed. And now I'm ready to tie half hitch knots right here. So I'm going to make a half hitch knot right here. I'm going to take my needle, go underneath these seed beads, just like this, pull through, make a loop, and I'm going to go through this loop twice. Pull it down right here, and then I'm going to go down through my next C bead, and I'm going to tie another knot here. So again through the bottom, right here, go through the loop twice, and pull this knot down. Make sure that your knot is going to land where you need it to be. So right here, pull it down. Now keep going straight, right down here, tying your half hitch knots. And uh, try to use up most of your thread. And when you tie a bunch of knots, go ahead and trim the rest of your thread off. Then take your needle off this side and put it on to this side and I'm going to show you how to close this side off. So exiting right here I'm going to pick up my four 11 of seed beads, my clasp, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go down this stem right here of the red flower. I'm going to go through this red seed bead, pull through. So here's my little circle of seven seed beads. Now I have to go around this here, go back up and reinforce this. So exiting out of this red seed bead, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to go through these two, through these two. through these brown ones. I'm going to try to go up this whole side here. Just through all those. Pull it snug. I'm going to go through this one in the ring. Then I'm going to go through these three brown ones one of my leaf beads and then out this brown seed bead right here. Pull my needle through. Make sure it's nice and tight and you don't have any thread exposed. So now that I'm here I'm ready to tie my half hitch knots on this side. I'm going to flip this over 
take my needle, go up through the bottom right here, there's a little hole, pull it through, make a loop, and go through this loop twice, and tie a knot right here. I'm going to go through another seed bead. I'm going to tie another knot right here, go through this hole, make a loop and go through it twice. And tie the knot right here. So keep on going straight down this vine, tying half hitch knots until you uh, run out of thread basically. So keep tying your knots until you're finished. So this was the Nepal chain stitch. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching and subscribing.